Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make dark trap beats from scratch that are easy to rap to. So if you struggle to make melodies or even drum patterns, this video is gonna be for you. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing I start with is the melody. And this is usually what most people struggle with. So I'm gonna show you an easy way to make them. Usually I start with the chord progression, but if you're trying to make something catchy for someone to rap to, most of that catchiness actually comes from the main melody. So why not start with that? I like to just press some notes on my keyboard and keep it kind of repetitive because once you come up with something that's easy to play, it's gonna be easier for people to remember it. And that's really how songs get stuck in people's heads. So I'll quickly show you on the keyboard and then I'll show you by clicking it in. So that melody there, just really simple, but kind of catchy. And I'll show you how to expand on that. So if you don't really understand anything about music theory, just select the scale and just click some notes in until something sounds right. So mine was just this. And then I just repeated that and then changed the next section. So now we've got kind of a catchy melody, easy to remember. Now I'm going to repeat that and now what we can try is just actually doubling the speed so I've just grabbed that arrow and then I'm going to bring it back to the 5 to make it 4 bars basically. And we'll see how this sounds. I'm working at 90 BPM because I'm making like a UK trap beat. So I've got the basic foundation there and then from here I could move some of these bottom notes. Like this one here. So I'm kind of changing the progression without actually adding chords. I'm just changing that bass note to follow that progression. So now I could take these bottom notes, just these, press shift and click to copy them, bring them down an octave with control down. Let's try this now. See how that's sounding kind of hard already. And if you're wondering what I'm actually using for the instrument, it's just a bell and Electra X. So you could use any synth from something like Expand 2, Analog Lab, just any kind of synth sound that sounds dark. So we've got a really basic melody, Sound and Fire though. I'm just going to copy Electra X and then I'm going to find another instrument to complement it. So I'm just going to copy over the exact same melody. And with this one, let's actually pitch it up an octave so it's not clashing with it. And we'll just find something else that it works with. Even this one. So straight away we could use this. Next I want to add a lead because we've got the main melody with these bells but I want something else to complement it. So when I add a lead there's going to be less notes so there's just less going on basically. So I like the sound of that already. Maybe we could add some slides here. Bring it back. And then maybe we can just come down here. I like the sound of that. And there's no logic behind what I'm doing here. I'm just clicking notes in until I like the sound of it. Let's push it to the background a bit. So keep the mix kind of high. Now the other thing I'm doing is taking another one shot of the same lead. But this one's up another octave. Just because sometimes when you take one shots and you pitch them up too much. It just sounds a bit weird. Like this, if I pitch it up. See what I mean? It kind of stops, just doesn't sound right. To avoid that happening, you can just take the same one shot, but up an octave in the actual VST. Let's link it to the same channel though. You know what? I might actually prefer it up an octave. Or both. I've got some stuff to play with anyway. Now the only other thing I might add melody wise is maybe a pad, just something to add some chords to fit that main melody. So for pads, I like to use Expand 2 as well. One of my favorite VSTs for pads. I'm just gonna go to soft pads and then see what works. And for the chords, I'm just gonna follow that progression. So we started on D, then we went down to A sharp, then to A. I'm just gonna skip a note, skip another note. And to keep it dark, I'm actually gonna get rid of the middle one. Same process.
I'll just cycle through the pads. And the chords aren't really sounding dark enough, so I'm just going to bring some of these notes down. Okay, so I like the sound of this one too. What I also like to do is send them all to a bus. So I've got everything here. I'm going to hold control, click and drag over all of the instruments I'm using. Right click on an empty channel, then root to this track only. And then on insert six, any effect that I add is going to be applied to everything. So I don't need to add it multiple times. I can just do it in one insert. So for example, could try halftime. Like that. Sounds crazy already. Could bring back the mix. So I could try some crystallizer. And just bring the mix all the way down. It will just add a subtle top layer. Oh, this filter sounds kind of sick. We could bring the mix back though. Just adds a little bit of movement to it. And once again, just we've got a little bit of variation. I'm just going to add one more sound. And this is just going to be a real basic melody. Let's try this. I will just repeat that. For the melody, that's all it really needs. And we've got enough to work with when it comes to arranging it. So I'm going to add in a sub bass to fill up some of the bottom end. And for the bass, we could actually use a stop plugin, something like GMS, and then just cycle through the synth basses here. Even this sounds kind of sick. But I'm just going to bring it up. And I've also added a decapitator with the mid driver preset. Just makes it a bit fire. Alright, we've definitely got enough now, so we'll start adding in the drums and then I'll probably swap that sub bass for an 808 at some point. So simple part to start with. I'm also going to take this beef snare and maybe I'll make that the main one and this first one the counter. Bring in this overkill kick. So that could be the simple bounce we can copy over though. Let's bring the BPM up a little bit to like 93. Alright, cool. And next we'll grab a hi hat. I'm thinking this noise one might work well. And what I like to do is just fill each two step and then I'll just copy it over. get an instant bounce and then I'll just bring the shift up a little bit. I'm also going to add another hat. For this one I'm just going to skip the first two then every three. So I like the way that sounds. I'm going to copy this over and then maybe the first one just get rid of these. And then as always with these type of beats, I like to add effect tricks to the hat. Yeah, there we go. Maybe same again. And then maybe some reverb. And I think that's all it needs. Okay, the hats are sounding sick, got a nice bounce to them. So next I'm going to add an open hat. Alright, one of the last things I'm going to add is just some percussion, maybe just like one or two perks. And these are just to add even more bounds. I'm just looking for the gaps here too. Something like this. Alright, I think this one's going to work better. See how everything's got its own pocket now. We'll just quickly test the drums by themselves. Bounce is crazy. So this type of stuff is just easy to flow to. Cause the bounce isn't changing too much. So from here, I'm happy to start arranging it now. So I'm going to split this by channel. I'm going to copy it out a few times. All right, we'll test what's going to work. So that's a little bit too bare. That definitely works though. Maybe in this section, we could bring in the pad.
Oh, actually, we'll bring in this bit. Yeah, there we go. And then maybe the sub base too. And then it really starts to build up. And then what I'm thinking for the drop is to include some of the drums just towards the end. Yeah, that sounds hard, but I think we should take half time off there. So yeah, keep it on there, bring it off in this bit. You know what, I might leave the lead out with the hook and just keep these in. We'll introduce the lead for the verse. So this bit sounds crazy. I also think it just needs a crash. Let's turn it down. Actually, I'm changing my mind again. I'm going to take the pluck out just because there's another thing to look forward to now. And then I'm going to make this crash unique. I'll reverse it. And then we've got ourselves a little bit of a riser. Can copy these out a few more times and then we're going to drop into the hook so at this point i want half time to come back in then i'm also going to bring these back right here this is where eight weight needs to come in so i'm just going to add something like the spins eight away and just come up with a pattern to match the kick this one just came down to here and then this to here but i think these will need to come up i've also just boosted it up a bit let's try this now let's get a slide note in there So yeah, we can just copy the eight weight pattern over, introduce something new now, maybe the leads. I think just the low one though. Yeah, there we go. Bring the sub bass back and maybe have it kind of similar to this intro. And then we can copy these over. And then in this hook, maybe this is where I'll bring the high lead. Crazy. Alright, let's have a listen from the beginning. So yeah, just starting off really simple with the bells, just both layers. And then we introduce the pluck and the sub bass, just building up more energy. But we've got half time on here so there's more impact in the hook. always everything just ducks then the drums slowly start coming in see for variation we've got the 808 so whenever I'm making rap beats like this I always like to use the 808s and the sub bass 